there was a pilot script, a one-hour pilot script that Gary David Goldberg wrote for CBS. And, um, we, and it was the Family Ties concept. It was uh, parents who were hippies, who they were liberals, um, and they ended up with a completely conservative uh, son. And they were scratching their heads trying to figure it out. In the one-hour form, it just didn't have the, the, the dramatic weight um, and and Brandon looked at the script and and shared it with me also, and Brandon said, I, I think it's a half hour, not an hour. And we met with Gary David Goldberg, and he was just thrilled because CBS had passed on it. He was thrilled for anybody to show interest in it. And um, we were fortunate in casting Michael J. Fox, uh, and um, that show came to life, uh, but it wasn't an immediate hit by any means. It was a relatable, fun family comedy, and it took a while for the Alex P. Keaton character to really, really hit it and take off. It also took a while for Gar Gary Goldberg to figure out that the voice of the kids was really, um, they were strong, strong, fun voices, and that that's where the audience wanted to go with. Um, and uh, But it was doing all right. We put it behind Facts of Life. We, it was moving around the schedule. It really took the Cosby Show to turn Family Ties into a massive hit. And we put it, we put Cosby at 8 o'clock on Thursday night and Family Ties right behind it. What was it like working with Gary David Goldberg and Michael J. Fox? Well, Gary Goldberg um, was a passionate um, and really talented writer. Um, Gary uh, didn't want to take a lot of notes from the network. Gary, um, Gary's feeling was, I'll figure out what the show needs. I'll work it through. And, um, and I think our wisdom was understanding that he had the talent to do that. Um, so sometimes we had to walk very carefully with Gary, um, but he lived, uh, he lived that era. He understood the, the clash in the household of values. Um, he was a parent. He, he really, really was personally involved in, in the dynamics of that show. And, uh, and he absolutely found it. Um, and he listened to his audience. That was shot in front of a, a live audience. And he listened very carefully to what the audience was telling him. And Michael J. Fox? Michael J. Fox was a prince to work with. Were you involved in casting him? I was. Um, it was a memorable session. Brandon famously said, um, well, I don't know if this kid's ever going to end up on a lunchbox. Um, and um, it was uh, less than a year later that Brandon was presented with a lunchbox by Michael J. Fox with his picture on it. Um, and Michael just absolutely nailed the Alex P. Keaton role. Um, he was brilliant in that role, and, um, and there was nothing that the network couldn't ask Michael to do. I mean. We didn't have a lot of success at that point. So we were, we were asking our talent to deliver um, all, all kinds of extra duty and, and appearances and things. And Michael was sensational to work with. And then um, they had to start adjusting his uh, production schedule because he was asked to do a movie called Back to the Future. And we were like, wow. He's going to do a movie and do our show at the same time. Again, to his credit, Gary Goldberg said, I can make this work. Um, we have to do this for Michael. And um, simultaneously, the show was taking off, and then Michael J. Fox's career exploded um, with that hit movie.